I thought I would do a quick go back to school, get back to school, get ready for school uh, shopping haul because we have literally just been out getting some bits. So Kenzie needed sports socks. These were from Sports Direct. They were £4.50 for a pack of one, two, three, four, five, or two packs for six fifty. So four fifty for five or six fifty for ten. So we went for the two packs. He also needed a gum guard for uh rugby. And this has 30% off. So it was $7.99, it is now $6.99. Then we went in to the works and I picked up this, three clear adhesive book covers. Every year I get caught out. This year I'm being organised. I always remember it once they get their homework that says cover your book and then everyone's gone to the shops and there's none left. So I've got prepared this time. Um, there was two of the Helix packs. They were a pound each or three of these ones for two pounds. So I thought, well, I might as well get the extra roll for the same price. This didn't have a price on it, but Kenzie needed um, all of those things. I probably could have got them in the pound shop, but that did mean going in to another shop, um, which I didn't really want to do. It does come with a couple of pencils, a couple of pens, pencil sharpener, all that jazz, ru uh, rubber, ruler, and your protractors. That was a fiver. Uh, then I got him a multi-coloured pen. Uh, that was a pound from the works. They're quite good for things like science when you use different colours for labelling. Uh, some rubbers, because I found out at the end of this year that he didn't have any. I mean, he has done it in the past, but they've obviously deteriorated. So two for a pound. pound fifty for a new compass. Um, again, I'm sure he's got one of these, but I think when he took it out of his bag, it looked like it lost its nib. He does have rulers, but this is a foldable ruler, and I thought that was quite useful because he only has small ones in his pencil case, and that was a pound as well. So that was 150. I don't know if I said that was 150. And then we queued for Clarks, as you'll have seen in my vlog. And I'd already looked online, and the shoes in Clarks were going to be about 90 pounds because he's in adult sizes. And the queue was ridiculous. And after we'd been stood there for about 20 minutes, if not more, we gave up and went to the shoe shop around the corner and picked these up. Now, they're obviously not Clark's quality. They're not going to last as long. I know they're not going to last as long. Um, but they fit him. He said they were comfortable. The nice, smart school shoes. And they came to the grand total of 22 99 And look, if we'd had to get two pairs of shoes... We could have got another one half price. So if you're kitting out several children for school, that might not be a bad place to visit. It's Dileches or I oh, can't remember the name of the place. It's got an odd name. Um, I'll see if I can remember what it's called and uh, put the name just up there. But yeah, twenty two ninety nine for a pair of school shoes. Not bad. And they do do big sizes. So if you've got kids that are tall like my boy, it's worth going and checking them out.